I just, I just describe my game as uh, all around. I played college for four years, so I know for me, I just try to show them a, a, a mix of everything. Uh, my all around game, uh, rebounding, passing, shooting, uh, that I can run the team, leadership. So I just try to show them as much as I can within an hour, hour, 30 minutes. Right, so, so much you can do. It's, it's, uh, yeah. it's a short time. How, how was it? Have you been to other workouts and any other teams specifically, and how do you compare this? Yeah, I, I've been to a, a, a couple of different places, but I mean, when you just come into the Los Angeles Lakers uh, organization. When you come into here, I mean, it's a different feel. I mean, I'm on the same court that Kobe Bryant played on. So, I mean, you kind of get, you know, amped a little bit when you come here. So, I think it was uh, it was great. It was probably one of the better workouts that I've had and a few that I've had. Why do you think this one was better for you than for some of the others? Well, I mean, just uh, they, they analyze a lot. I mean, a lot of testing. And they take a good look at you. I know some teams are more laxed or some of the drills are, aren't as specific or detailed as, mm -hmm. as they are here. But I feel like here they, they want you to pay attention to detail and they want you to do certain things. And uh, that's, they do a, you know, a good assessment of, of your game and, and your IQ, the way you know you play basketball. Gotcha. The one thing you can do is score. What, what are some of the question marks surrounding your game that you're hearing that you need to prove? Uh, probably just shooting. Uh, people want to see me shoot the basketball, but like you said, from three? I, I mean, yeah, from yeah. three. But I feel like I, I mean, I could score. So I mean, I'm confident in my shot. And I know for me, I mean, I've played four years for a mid major team, so it was it was tougher for me to get shots than a lot of these guys where they had, you know, better players around them. So I know, I know for me, I mean, it's just uh, being able to you know spot up and knock open open shots down like I can. Did you do any vertical jump tests? Uh? Yeah, we actually did yeah. do the vertical jump test. Did you test top too. your combine there? Uh? No, I didn't tie my combine. I mean, it's, it's hard to get out of the hotel and, 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 and jump, but I mean, I think I tied it, so I mean, I'm satisfied with that. I mean, people think they know I could jump by now, so. Think Nobody I, ever jumps that high now. Right. <laughs> I think they know I could jump. I mean, if you look at some film or in, in games, I think I, you know, jump a little bit higher in games, so they just got to get me there. Do you still feel like your size comes into question a lot during this type of process? Uh, I think it do because, I mean, the players, I'm getting bigger and stronger, but I know for me, I mean, that's how I've been my whole life. So, I mean, for me, I just go out there and just do the same thing I've always been doing, just producing. I mean, I've been this height, I'm going to stay this height. So, I wake up every morning already knowing I'm this height, so I just keep doing the same things. <laughs> Is there a guy you look up to in the league and say, listen, if he's there, there's no question I can be there? I mean, a lot of the guards. I mean, I know Chris Paul for sure. I mean, I went to his camp last year. I mean, stood next to him a little bit and measured the height. <laughs> and uh, if he, you know, he's a really, really good guard and he's producing the league. Uh, first team all defense, you know, first team all NBA a couple times. And uh, I feel like, I mean, if I, you know, just get bigger with, with more time and, and, you know, learn the game, I feel like I could be just as effective or more effective with my athletic ability um, as, as any guard. Where are you hearing your ranges in terms of the draft? I don't know. They just say second round. So, I mean, I just try to, you know, just come in and, you know, just work as hard as I can. I know for me, I don't really care if it's first pick or 60th pick. <laughs> I'll just be happy to, to get picked. I know for me, I'm, I'm not one of those type of guys that will be upset if I'm, you know, 15 when I'm supposed to be 10 or something like that. Isaiah Thomas, yeah. what, 60 pick. What do you think that day's going to be like for you, draft day? It's going to be weird. I mean, this whole time is kind of weird where you're uncertain. I mean, you work out, the, everybody look at, watch you, and then they just leave. You don't know if they like what they saw, if they didn't like what they saw. And you just go on to the next one, and then you know a lot of more different guys are coming in. So right now, it's, I mean, it's going to be weird. But I know for me, to get that monkey off your back and just to know what's going to happen next is going to be, you know, it's, it's going to be relieving. The fact you played on four years, where do you think that might go into play? Um, I hope that comes into to play a lot. I think for me, I'm more seasoned. Uh, I think uh, a lot of the guys only played probably 30, 35 games, a lot of freshmen. I know for me, I played like 120 plus games, you know, a lot of game experience. And uh, I know through this process, I mean, we, 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 I'm playing against all college players and I feel like I was one of the, one of the better college players I played four years. So I feel like I have more experience. So I know for me, it's just, it's just going out there and just producing every day and I think it's going to help me. Was there ever a time when you were playing college after a season that you thought, hey, maybe this will be the time I, I turn pro? Uh, no, I, I mean, I had a good year my junior year, but I know for me, I just wanted to stay and stick it out and just try to, you know, just keep trying to win as many games and, and you know, just fulfill my resume and just do as much as I can. And I know even in high school and, and even in college, I mean, I could have left and went to different schools or, like you said, I could have tried pro, but, I mean, I love my team. I was a loyal guy, so that's why I wanted to stick to my team.